Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a really fancy looking slit lighting effect using nothing more than your flash gun and a cardboard box. Now you've probably seen this style of lighting before, it's that whole low key narrow band of bright light that's going straight across the model's face. Usually this type of lighting is created by buying a light modifier known as a gobo. Essentially all a gobo is is a stencil or a template that's placed in front of a light source in order to control the shape of the light. In our case we want to create a thin slit of light that is cast across the model's face. Now gobo kits can get pretty pricey, for brand name kits you're looking at paying anywhere from between £75 to £250 50 pounds, depending on the kind of lighting kit that you're using. Alternatively, if you're tighter than a crab's ass like I am, you can make your own, and I made this one out of a small Amazon box. There's really nothing scientific about this whole process, basically it's a cardboard box, and in one side we've cut a hole that's large enough to fit our flash gun into, and on the other side, unsurprisingly, is sort of a letterbox shape that's obviously going to narrow the band of light into that slit effect. Once you've made your modifier, it's then just a case of setting up the lighting. I'm going to be using my Godox V860 Mark II flash gun, which I'll be firing off camera using the Godox ST4 trigger. For my image, I wanted to make sure that the background was kept completely black so that all we're left with is that thin band of light across the model's face. In terms of settings for your flash gun, all you need to do is make sure that the power is set high enough so that it's way, way brighter than the ambient light in your room so that it'll overpower it. And that will turn the ambient light into pure darkness. Now, obviously that's gonna vary depending on the setting that you're in. If you're in a particularly bright room, you're probably gonna have to ramp that power right up to full power. If the room is quite dark, like the basement that we were shooting, in then you probably won't need to set it quite as high but just take a few test shots and see what works. Now because my flash gun doesn't have a modeling light it's obviously going to be a bit tricky to know where that flash is going to be firing onto your model's face so the only way to do that is to position it roughly in the right place where you think it's going to be correct, take a test shot, review it on the back of your camera and then just make some adjustments to the position of the light until you get it right. It also helps if your model isn't moving around too much too so if they're having to stand for long periods of time you might be better off getting a stool for them to sit on so that they're not tempted to jiffle around and move position. Once you've got the light in the right position keep firing away and essentially that's all there is to it. If you really wanted to crank up the creativity to another level, you could experiment with adding more lights or even add something like colored gels to the flashes for a more colorful effect. Personally, I really like to combine this lighting effect with a high contrast black and white finish to give it that really high end look. Anyway, enjoy this lighting technique. I hope you have some fun with it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and also subscribe to the channel for new content as we release videos every single Friday. Alternatively, of course, you can get a bit creative and create your own using an animal. Uh, uh, uh.